Hello guys. <laughs> well, here we are for an update for the month of July. It's July. July 2023. 2023. And it is hot mm. out, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, let's get to weights. Um, last month I was 335 and this month, I, this morning I was 337. So I'm up too. Means I'm not doing my job. Honestly, yeah, just... life is gonna slow down here. It has already. Um, last month I was 173, I'm still 173, so I'm even Steven. Um, <clears throat> I'm back. Sorry, I miss you guys. Thank you for all the well wishes. Um, it's been a crazy year to start off with, yeah, with the three deaths and being the executor of all their wills, plus having it all be mostly over in Canada. Two of them are in Canada, one's here in the States, but it's an mm -hmm. hour and a half away. <clears throat> Dealing with all those things, so many meetings and aspects and papers and things to follow up with and get this and take it there. And long story short, we don't see Stacy much. She was in Canada all day yesterday, then came home and worked the whole night. And then today, as soon as we're done with this, going back to Canada again. Yeah, I'm going to take him with me so I can have a little bit of company. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I still have a little bit of uh, this weather and my asthma um, are not playing nice. And I think just the stress and the body is trying to get back and um, it's finally slowing down. We're starting to get a few of the projects of the many that oh. we have to do here um, done. I'm doing the memorial for my mom. Uh, in about two weeks, heading out to Albuquerque with my family and um, going to get that done. And so things are settling down a little bit. Body art, we're through that. So it's pretty just much. been pretty crazy. I'm so thankful that my daughters have been able to go and do the body art events for us um, where I've not been able to make it or Bill's right. not been able to make it. Um, so that's been helpful. Very, very helpful and much, much appreciated. Yeah, just kind of filling you guys in on where we are and what we've been doing, though. Um, Keto has taken a bit, bit of a back seat. Uh, of course, still, when we go to the grocery store, I know what things <clears throat> that I should be eating and try and buy and do the best I can with that direction. Like this morning, I woke up and had some eggs and ham. Mm -hmm. Not green, green eggs and I was ham. just a green eggs no. and ham. No, but, you know, that's just the, the direction we should be going. Mm -hmm. My sugars aren't the greatest. I mean, they're, they've been it's worse. They've been, yeah. Not sleeping, been stressed to death, you know, like so much stuff going on. But uh, just wanted to kind of fill you guys in as to where, where we were. We, we are okay. Everything is, you know, just just mm, the to-do list. I can't even explain. Yeah. So, uh, but it, I think as things hopefully settle down towards the end of summer and going into fall, we can focus more on just trying to Breathe. have some... Zen moments and <laughs> like go for a walk or a bike ride. We've got bikes out there, but we just had never had that. Today, we're trying to juggle like seven things that need to be done. All of them are banging on the door saying, do this right now. And, you know, we can only get so much done each day. So we're going to finish this. We're going to head to Canada. We're mm -hmm. going to um, come back. We've got to fix our dryer. We've got to power wash our deck. We've got like a major projects that have to be done here. I've also been trying to do a bunch of projects at her aunt's house. Yeah. We still have a laundry list. I mean, I saw the list over there. It's like a, taking an envelope and writing down like mm -hmm. seven or eight things that we have to go do in Canada today on top of what you couldn't get done yesterday. And this is not a short drive. This is, uh, what, three hours? Five? Three hours minimum drive. That That's just the drive, not including the, the, tolls the wait the time at the, at the border yesterday coming back. Right. <laughs> So, so we're definitely um, trying to keep keep the faith on, you know, doing the best we can. And it's not always been perfect. And obviously, our lack of loss in terms of weight and yeah. whatnot is showing. We certainly haven't had the time to be sitting down and making and prepping the food stuff like we normally do, which I feel bad for. But I just want to come out and tell you that's where we're at. I yeah. mean, Keto kind of took a back seat when everybody started passing away and we had so many commitments and places to be and things to do yeah we just haven't <clears throat> been able to keep up with it as well um i certainly know better i mean if we get something for the girls or whatever i don't need that i'm not 
you know, going to eat the little Caesars or whatever that they I truly got. think just the lack of sleep. And, <clears throat> and then, you, of course, you know, we're... A little stressed. A lot stressed. <laughs> Yeah. I think this is probably one of the first times that I can talk about things without getting the busting words down out. and not being able to. Right. That that last month there, I didn't even, I don't even see Stacy much. I really don't. I mean, I don't think people really realize that like when our day starts, it's high by mm -hmm. a, a quick text maybe during the day that she doesn't get and she responds when she can respond. 10 o'clock at night, she'll show up and have like 50 other emails and things to do but also is exhausted and then it all starts <laughs> a couple hours later because by the time we get to bed it's two three four in the morning then we're getting up you know seven eight in the morning getting going again yeah but we did have some good news we celebrated our 29th anniversary yes we did well um, we didn't celebrate it yet but well, we, we had it it <laughs> happened yeah it happened we haven't, we haven't celebrated we said we were going to do something but we haven't. We're going to go out for lunch today. We did go see a movie the other day, though. We did, yeah. yeah. it was had to kind of work it around her schedule. We went to a 10, 15 p.m. movie. I was a little worried she wasn't going to be able to stay awake. We saw Sound of Freedom. It's a very good movie. Yeah. And I did stay awake, for the record. Yeah. So <laughs> we did some of the um, Angel Pay It Forward tickets. So where if you buy a ticket, you can buy another ticket to send someone else for free to see that movie because they feel like the message of that is very important to get it out there. So um, we did that and uh, enjoyed the movie. It's a, definitely a powerful, serious subject. It's not a comedy, but, you know, um, it was something we wanted to, to do. And uh, it was an interesting, well, it's based on a true story for Tim Ballard, but mm -hmm. yeah, <clears throat> interesting movie. Um, Keto wise, I, I honestly I got nothing for you. I'm I'm trying to eat better and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm certainly not getting in all the activity and exercise, but yeah. more so busyness of running around doing other things. So I'd like to be doing more bike. I'd like to be doing more fasting. It makes it incredibly difficult with our schedules lately. Just, you know, I guess you can call them all excuses because one way or another, just the focus has not been on that. That's all I could say. Yeah. And, and, uh, and <clears throat> figured we would at least, if nothing else, update you on where we're at in life and what's going on. And hopefully we can get a lot of this stuff wrapped up, resolved, yeah. and get back into making some recipes and stuff. I've even seen some things on TikTok that look kind of interesting that I'd like to try. Like, like where somebody's making something that was like a, a dinner or dessert or something yeah. that was keto related or like, you know, no sugar type of things. I would, I would be interested in checking those out. Yeah. So, you know, maybe we'll play with that a little bit. Play, he says play with it. Play with that. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. It'll, I think we'll both feel better. We'll <clears throat> feel better. We'll look better. It'll be better in my knee. <laughs> yeah, her knee's giving her trouble. She got some shots. <clears throat> couple months back now yeah i did and gel in the knee because i had no no cartilage no lubrication and it was my, helping. yeah the bones were bruised because i the force of um an imp i didn't even eat i was walking and i hit bone to bone and my knee swelled horribly i couldn't even walk almost like somebody um, whacked you with a hammer yeah and i went in and i had a horrible bone bruise um so they had to wait for all that swelling to come down, did, you know, the cortisone, and then they finally did gel shots, um, which worked wonderful, let the the bone bruise heal. However, I do have a torn meniscus and um, had no cartilage, no lubrication. So they put the gel in there. I did three shots, and that actually worked really well, um, but I think it's worn off already. It's starting to wear off because she's coming home. I'm putting, making her put ice on it right away. And My knee is swollen all day long. Um, wear a brace and it's still killing me now. You got a brace on now? I do. You do. Good for you. Good girl. Right. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> so <clears throat> I get a call. I think, unfortunately, the next stop for that is surgery. Yeah, and that's going to put you on the couch for a bit. And probably have to figure out something for, I don't know how that works with work, like 
a workman's comp situation or something where you no, have not to take workman's comp, but it would I not not yeah, that would be yeah, like a short-term accident, disability, but, but yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I don't know my words very well. I'm still learning. Ah, you have my words, words behind you that you could okay. faithful. Yeah. If you, maybe you notice too in our videos that things look a little different, but yet they're the same because we're at the same couch and everything. Sometimes we sit over there, but this time we're sitting over here. But behind us, we don't have the three little pictures that everybody commented on that one was crooked because it was crooked. But <laughs> now we have a different picture up there, and that's actually a picture that came from Stacy's mom's house. So that was on the wall at Stacy's mom. So what we did. Is we put that picture on our wall behind our couch. So and it makes me smile. And it, and that's what it's supposed to do. And one other little project that we did is we've been working on. We have a wall in our living room that's an accent wall for the fireplace, and we changed the color of it because we didn't like. We had a, like a Santa Fe <clears throat> muddy brown kind of felt like you were in Albuquerque or something, and uh, we changed it to a. What would you call that? Like a deep berry? Yeah, it's a berry color. Yeah, so I will show you. Look. Oh. Well, it's a little crooked, but I think you can kind of get the idea. <laughs> but uh, definitely just seems to work a little bit better for us in here. It so, makes me smile. Yeah, and it's something you've wanted to do for a while. So, anyway. Silly so, things, but... I wish I had more actual keto news or update for you, and I don't, and uh, I apologize for that, but I did want to do our update with our weights and just kind of fill you in on what's going on with our life, and um, we'll hopefully be able to redirect and focus more on the keto for the future here, just trying to, I know better, I mean, I'm not grabbing the bag of Doritos and eating all the junk and trying not to, to do... It's just hard to keep a schedule. Right today, we're just the gonna be run, run, run. is not helping, and, <clears throat> and she comes home after pushing twelve-hour days, starving. You know, because she hasn't stopped and she hasn't taken a break or eaten. Yeah, so it's not. not we have work to do, schedules. and we'll get there. We have work to do, and we'll get there. Wait, did you just say that? We're going to trust the process and we well, know it works and, you know, maintain. We both maintained for yeah, four I'm, years and then. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it's just called life too. I mean, yeah. a lot of people, maybe people who have followed this two, three years ago have maybe come and left keto or whatever. I wouldn't say I've left keto because I know what it's done for me. Right. But I just haven't been able to focus as much on those aspects as I used to be able to. Right. Life was much simpler then. And I thought it was busy then. And it's just changed. As you get older, <laughs> there's so many things that we got to do. <laughs> yeah. So. But thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. And, you know, hanging in there. And like I said, Appreciate thank it. you so much for all the sympathy wishes and oh, thoughts and prayers. Yeah. And that's much appreciated. And Lots going on for Stace. And, yeah. Well, for all of us, but. Oh, we're going to get some resolution. I'm just about done. Just probate left pretty much after today. It'll just be probate and nothing else I can I had do to go in Canada. Out there. Yeah, I had to go out there with a big <clears throat> moving truck and move everything out of her mom's place, which was emotional but also physical. Yes. Probably maybe that's part of why your knee's bugging you, going up and down ramps and moving things and, you know, that kind of junk. But uh, that, but that part is a huge step it's done. and. Yeah. We've just been in banks and lawyers and post offices and all these different places and investment place that you had to go. And just every time you turn around, there's a meeting or a place you got to be and you got to bring this form. And you got to bring a copy of this. And you got to do this. And then none of it's close. It's hours away. So we got to keep going back and forth over the border, back and forth. I think they're kind of running out of questions to ask you at the border. They just... Probably yesterday, see the notes that says mother died or something. You know? I got there yesterday and, and they gave my ID and they said, you know, they looked at the screen and they went here. <laughs> so, like I said, you know, so <laughs> I thought it was going to be hard bringing things back over the border because you're bringing physical possessions. But when they explained, you know, well, he had a 16 passed. foot moving truck and uh, explained, I said, was a surprisingly one of the agents that I hadn't seen in the last, you know. Because she Four sees a lot of them. Coming to and from, and um, 
she just opened up the back and said, bye. See ya. Although she didn't latch the back, so thank goodness, me and my deafness, I something didn't sound right when I started to take off. And I pulled over to the side, and thank goodness, because the back had already started to come up. She didn't latch it. She didn't hook it. Um, but literally, I thought we were going to get pulled over. I thought we were going to get searched. Be sitting there Which for was hours. fine, because I had a list of everything that was in the truck, because I was prepared and didn't even need it. I'm like, I wasted all that time making that list and didn't need it but that's okay i was prepared yeah that was the, that was the key just point be ready for it yeah <laughs> so all right guys well, what we're gonna do is i'm gonna wrap this up and get it <laughs> uploading and stace gonna get a couple little things done here while i'm doing that then we're gonna head off to canada land and then we're gonna come home and work on our dryer or one of these other projects that we gotta get done yes mm, i don't know just i'm gonna pull my hair up and i don't have much hair left <laughs> gotta be careful yeah. Everybody take care. I hope you have a great month and um, we'll catch with you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.